everybody, it's I, Dreadlord here, and today we are doing the first ever episode of Paper Jam Season 2. If y'all are ready, comment down be below, my body is ready. Seriously though, um, don't, don't, just don't, just say you're ready, okay? But, um, today I'm only going to cover over Ethan and my team because he joined team x and i have to explain about him and i'm sure a bunch of y'all already know about dementio but let's begin ethan the green jester <sighs> the one who joined team x the khalil group and many more now he's most known for him just coming around but of course, everybody in Team X has a role to play. Dreadlord plays the act of the flame. Armin Dew plays the act of the strength. The creepy pasta. Now it's time to really start explaining. Ethan the Green Jester is an OP Minecrafter who has powers unlike any others. He, he has more power to defeat Armin Dew. But yet he do, he isn't the f the strongest nor fastest in the gang. Although in Team X, the creepy pasta version of him is more well developed. But although Ethan the Green Jester is way more better than that, he can easily easily go into creative mode, grab out anything he wants. He he over the years he has obtained swords like a diamond sword and a one-shot sword. He also likes stealing stuff out of chests. This jester isn't something to be messed around with. He is more powerful than the sun, pretty much. But yeah, Dementio may not stand a chance. But yet, let's keep talking about Ethan. Although he's a jester, He's more stronger than he looks, and he's a lot better and faster. Although, he has some missing capabilities, like speed. Although he's faster than a normal human, and of course Sonic combined. Well, yeah, he's, he's just better. But of course he has many forms, which we will not be using in this. These two oh, always have a challenge for anger, and always love to become angry. So, don't expect if they turn into a different form by accident. So, yeah, Ethan the Green Jester is really powerful, and, and can withstand many more. Of course, is this enough? It may not, but let's keep continuing. Although Ethan, overall Ethan, is a very powerful jester and can take down many foes, just like Harley Quinn and Hugh Brian, if, even if he tried. But he loves giving himself challenges way too much. Is he enough, or is he too much? Or is he too little? Let's find out right now.
Smokey just got smoked. Now, you might be wondering why Dementio lost. Now, there's tons of reasons why I can it, why I can explain this. But first, let's begin with number one. Y'all ready? Let's begin. Of course, Ethan has way more speed than Dementio. But the real question comes down to strength. Both of these characters have very elemental powers. But of course, Ethan being the creepy fossil would have more experience. And of course, more goals in order to defeat his opponent. Now, once again, his one-shot sword can be broken. It's just hard to break it. It, it can easily break anything, just like Adamanti. Team. Now, although this could be a bit hard for him to just use it without trying to break it, um, it's very easy to determine why it didn't break. Its force and power is more than anything else, besides Nano's armor, which, yeah, that it's hard to be broken. But of course, he has the power and determination to kill off. Dementio. And of course, this fight, it comes down to a debate on who would win versus the memes and the Marios. Now guys, I don't usually do this, but if you want to see a civil war between the memes in the Mario and Sonic game, like every character, just comment down below. Civil war. But anyway, it's time to move on to who's next. Peggy 3. Tommy. 